Hi, today I'm going to talk about the Generico filter for Moodle. My name is Justin, I'm the Poodle guy. I, I write mods for Moodle. And this is a new plugin called Filter, and that will change text that's in the HTML area uh, into something else when it's displayed to the user. So in this case, the Generico filter, it makes templates. So it will take a string that looks like this one here, Generico type equals houses, color equals blue, owner equals gym, and it will turn that into the string that you see beneath it, the owner of the blue house is gym. So you can define templates and then insert them into the HTML area in a specific format, and then it will uh, alter those when it's displayed to the user. Uh, this is a pretty uh, standard kind of a, a text here, but let's look at something more useful. Uh, this would be a YouTube one. So you could define a YouTube template that would be generico type equals YouTube ID equals, and then you would enter the ID. And when Moodle displayed that, it would first expand that into uh, the YouTube embed string, uh, which the multimedia plugins filter would then turn into the uh, YouTube player itself. So what is it for? Well, it's really it's an ad hoc Moodle filter. So uh, you can quickly make uh, little little something that might not be worth writing a whole new plugin for, but you can still uh, use filtering in Moodle to make that template work. Uh, you could prototype a filter that you wanted to write, or uh, if you have often used snippets, pieces of uh, text or code, little bits of JavaScript that you wish to display on pages, you can use the Generico filter to do that. So let's just quickly go through and I'll actually show you uh, the Generico filter in operation. So this is the settings for uh, the Generico filter. Uh, you'll see here we've got template 1, template 2, template 3. You actually have 10 templates that you can use. And uh, the, the first field that you have is the key. The second field is the body of the template. And the final field for each template is the defaults. So in the very first case we've got here, the key is houses. The body of the template is this here. And you can see the variables that will, will be replaced in the template are surrounded by double at marks. And if you want to have defaults for uh, variables, variables which the user or the, uh, the author of the HTML area doesn't need to enter, you can put, the, you can put those defaults in here. Right. So when this particular template is put on a page, it will look like this. Generico type equals houses. Here is the key that we, did, we just saw back here. Let's go back and have a look at that. The key. And here we have the variable definitions. Color equals blue. Owner equals gym. Okay, color equals blue. Owner equals gym. So when this template is expanded and displayed, it should say the owner of the blue house is Jim. Let's see if that is in fact the case. Okay, and there it is. The owner of the blue house is Jim. All right. Let's go back and look at uh, the other template we've defined here. This is the more interesting one. This is a YouTube template. So and now there's a host of video hosting services. There's Vimeo, there's YouTube, there's lots of small uh, content distribution networks. So when they provide you with an iframe, it, rather than have to write your own new filter plugin just for that use, you could in fact use a Generico filter to do that. In this case, we're going to do this with YouTube. So here we've taken the iframe st string that YouTube gives us when we go to embed something, and in place of the width and the height and the ID of the video, we've inserted variables. This has made it a template. Okay, and we put defaults for the width and the height of 560 and 315. And of course, uh, there's no, no, it wouldn't be any point in putting a default ID for the video because um, you're always going to want to specify the ID for your video. So if we quickly go to YouTube and we have a video here, now this is a Thomas and Friends video, and here we have the ID of that video. This is the ID part here. When we come back to uh, our template here. Let's go generico type equals YouTube. Type equals YouTube. And make this ID equals 
the ID of the YouTube video. Now when we display this we should in fact have the YouTube video displayed. Okay, and there it is, is our Thomas and Friends uh, video. So that's a pretty good introduction. Just one more example that I'll show you. Um, here we have a third template I've defined, which is Zondel. Now Zondel is a British company uh, which, which has a number of games which you can create data sets for, so you can test your students' spelling or uh, other, other things. Um, by entering data and matching it with the game that they've defined. So here I've made a TOEIC word set of data, which has some questions, and then it'll be combined with one of these games. So here we have the TOEIC words game for uh, this little parachute thing here. Okay. Let's quickly show you the, uh, the game. Okay, it looks like this, and you have to choose the, uh, the word that goes into this blank here. So the fee. Okay. It goes like that. Okay, so what we would do here is we would go to the embed code for this. And this is a case where you, rather than write a whole new plugin just for this purpose, uh, it may be just as easy to use the generic filter. Generic code. And here we get the code. So I've already made a filter for this, but you can see here, here is the ID, which is the part that we actually need. Okay, this part here. So that's actually going to uh, select that all over. So I'll just quickly paste into a text here so I can get the ID cleanly. Okay. And let's go back to our generic page here. And we'll type in Zondel. Because we've defined a template as Zondel. And we put in our ID here. That looks like that. Save and display. And we will get a Zondel game appearing right there on our course page. Just like that. Okay, so that's uh, my very brief introduction to the Generico filter. If you want to download and try it now, uh, the download link is there, or the download page. You'll have to go to that page and then download it. If you just type Google, if you just Google for Moodle Generico, uh, that will be the first list, first page that you'll see in the uh, search listings, and you can go straight there. If you have any questions, as always, please contact me at poodlesupport at gmail.com or via my Twitter handle, PoodleGuy.